hello guys welcome once again to another tutorial session on bioinformatics and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to download gene expression data from the tcg database using python in order to follow this tutorial you need to have this requirement satisfied so first of all you need to have the library curl downloaded and installed on your computer you also need to have python and the underlisted libraries installed and then the third one is to have internet connectivity so let's get started so the first step is to download the manifest file from a tcg database and so we go to the tcg database homepage. link is given in the description box below and then we select repository when you go to repository, we select transcriptome profiling in the data category. And then when we go to the data type, we select gene expression quantification. Please note the data type because we will use this information later on. And then the experimental strategy, we select RNA-seq. And then when we come to the workflow type, we select AT-seq counts. That's a raw data we leave the rest as they are and then we move to cases so the cases section allows you to download particular cancer types and so we we'll go to the project section where we'll download the tcg bracket and so after selecting that one we move here we add all files to the cards. That's on the right side. And after adding all cards, all files to the cards, we download the manifest here. So I will download the manifest and put it on my desktop. So now it's downloaded. So if you check it out on your file, you realize that it has been downloaded for you okay so the next step is to download the github repository where we have the python script the web link for the github repository will also be given in the description box below and so under in the repository you will download the code of course, you can download on the command line using the GIT, but I'll just download it from here. Okay, so we'll download the zip and then we'll save it on the desktop as well. So let's save it as data miner. You can also leave it with the default name. Okay, so now we have it downloaded, so we can proceed. So let's first unzip the repository. After unzipping, let's move the manifest file also to it. So if you move into the directory or folder, you have the manifest file there and you have these files here i have subsetted some of the data sets and that is why this looks small so once you have this you now open a python terminal or a python interpreter you can use any interpreter of your choice for this so in the python interpreter the first thing you do is to import the os this library we are going to use this because we are want to change directory into where we have the manifest file and the python script we downloaded and so we proceed by saying os change directory and then we specify the path to that folder for mine it's here
is my path and so i save it there so after we have done this we now proceed so the first step is to download the functions in the script and to do that we say from tcga downloader import star to import all the functions and then the next step we extract the ids from the manifest file so get ids and then we specify the manifest file name so we can check how many samples we have by issuing the len command because the ids is a list so we have sample size of 25 we can also print some of the ids so you can say ids maybe you want the first three we can print them there okay so after getting the ids the next step is to get a payload file this file will be used for downloading some additional files so the payload file we get it by issuing this command payload is equals to prepare payload and then we specify the ids and then here an additional information is needed the data type okay so here our data type is gene expression quantification because that is what we downloaded so in principle if you have other data types you can change this and use that as well so we now proceed by downloading the meta file metadata file and then the metadata file will be done so the metadata contains information such as the sample type whether it's tumor or normal and then file name and id and pinch it id as well okay so after getting the metadata file it's time to download the data themselves so we say download data and then we specify the metadata now by default the metadata is a tsv file that means it's a tab separated value so we specify with the argument slash t you can also specify where it should be where the data should be downloaded to so let's just say other is equals to brca and so this directory will be created and then all the files will be downloaded there so make sure it doesn't exist if it exists all the data sets might be overwritten so we take notes so now we proceed to download the data so the data will be downloaded one by one depending on the number of samples you have the download will take quite some time okay so when the download is complete you have this message being displayed here and it also shows you where the download has been taken to in your directory and so since we change directory to where the python script is we will go to that directory to check the files so this folder has been created because we specify that in the script so when you move into that folder you have the sample types being separated for you the primary tumor and then the normal tumor i made it this way so that if you have studies that require you to analyze them separately you can do that i'll be doing follow-up tutorials on how to download other data sets from the tcg as well as some advanced queries so that'll be all for today and i'll see you in the next session bye bye